Welcome back to Everyday Living. We are here with that really cute guy you saw before the break, Chef Andrew Zimmer. And we're going to start with the, the salad today. We're making a lot of different things. We're going to do twice the, in the show. Yeah, we're going to do the raita and we're going to do the salad. Then we'll get ready. And later on the show, we're going to do the lamb dish. The raita? Raita. <laughs> you say it. tomato, I, I say tomato. So what is this raita? Anyway? In any language, it's an Indian yogurt sauce. The Greeks have tzatziki. Uh, the Indians have raita. There are lots of, we use the French, uh, use creme fraiche. We use sour cream. The English use clotted cream. And, and they're basically cooling sauces for grilled and roasted meats. So as if, if they were spicy or something like that? It's a fabulous or way to take the heat off temperature-wise or acid-wise in terms of a hot pepper, which is capiscum acid. I've got, <laughs> got the yogurt. It. Well, you know, come, chemistry. So what's in this? Some yogurt, mm -hmm. some ground coriander, mm -hmm. some ground cumin. We season it with a little bit of lime juice, mm -hmm. some fresh chopped cilantro, some fresh chopped mint. Now, can you use any kind of yogurt? I mean, I'd be, I'd, I would like you to don't use the, use the fat free or the low fat yogurt. Don't use can strawberry. You, don't use strawberry. <laughs> okay, but can you use the low fat? Yes, absolutely. Okay. As a matter of fact, this is yo low fat yogurt. Uh, with low fat yogurt, what we're really looking for, because it has water added to it, uh -huh. uh, in many cases, is to drain it first, which you can do in a colander. Okay. The next thing that we want to do now that our raita is finished, and you can just refrigerate that, let the flavors grow for an hour or two, mm -hmm. is to take some vinegar and some sugar, mix and all we want to do is mix that up and dissolve the sugar and the vinegar, which it takes a very short amount of time. It is. It's really a mild pickling solution, and it's not going to break down your vegetables at all. It's just going to infuse Ooh. them with that wonderful Pequant sweet and sour feel. Okay, so you there's the cucumber. You want to throw in a little bit of red pepper. How do you string it like that? I do that with a knife. Really? Yeah, you have to have decent knife skills. There are a lot of those jazzy little tools on television you can buy. I really like those little Japanese slices. Uh -huh, the kind that you see at like 2 yeah. in the morning and on you, TV. Oh, you yeah. Buy. <laughs> and you can, do this, you can do this at home and cut them into rounds as well. You know, you don't need to make these, these threads. This, by the way, I did on a turning those vegetable are cute. slicer. Very yes. cute. There you go. One more. My now, how long do you marinate that for? Because I would, it doesn't get soggy or up anything to, like up that? Up to 24 hours. Once you get past the 24-hour mark, uh, it starts to break down. Okay. The king of pickled salads, a famous chef in California named Albert Salky, taught me all these different um, salad marination mixtures. And this is one of the more simple ones, but one that I use the most, especially with grilled meats. And I love it with lamb. Very, and very good. And you guys good. are going to absolutely go nuts for this when we check it out later. Now, is this the kind of stuff that you put on, uh, like, falafel, you know, when you get the little pockets and stuff? Is that the same kind of uh, well, stuff? Well, that's, that's tahini, which is okay. a sesame a bit uh, paste sauce. Um, but they do have yogurt sauces that they put in there with shawarma and other grilled lamb. Shawarma. Shawarma. Love that. love that. All right. Well, we are going to... Keep this aside. Gonna set it aside. Pick up the lamb in Pick a little bit. You bet. Okay. And we'll finish the recipe. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We are cooking it up and we are lambing it up. Get it? Lambing it up? <laughs> Hamming it up? Lambing it up? You, funny? you, EW, are so night. funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Andrew Zimmern is back and we are doing part two of the recipe that we Absolutely. started earlier. And you are marinating lamb. Yes, I am. And I'm just going to pop these two fillets here in the little bit of canola oil and get okay. those started. And then we'll show everybody at home what that marination is. What that marination is. Okay. There we go. That looks hot. A All piece right. of lamb loin, boneless. You can use lamb chops. You can use lamb burgers, blade lamb, star anise, brown sugar. A little bit of cinnamon, and I love this marinade. I use it for duck a lot as well. Also chicken, orange juice. It's a very mild acid. It has enough sugars in it to glaze meats and poultries. Can you use it for fish or anything? Oh, or no? I, it's a little strong on fish. Okay. But I love marinating snapper or oily fishes like mackerel in orange juice. I just wouldn't use those sweet spices. Now, it smells and it looks like it adds a ton of flavor. Does it do anything to the meat itself? Does it tenderize? Of course it? it does. That mild acid tenderizes um, some of the acids that are in sugars and salts will actually pull out moisture. It also, some people um, feel that lamb has a slight gamey taste. I don't. Um, but there are a lot of people out there who do, and what this allows them to do is pull some of that gamey flavor out of there. And, it, I'm sorry. No, go right ahead. Lamb is actually considered a red meat, is that right? It is a red meat. It just I doesn't never... have a tagline. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Pork, <laughs> the other white meat. Lamb. The it's National Lamb Council is probably going to write me a very angry letter saying, <laughs> we have a slogan. 
Oh, well, they'll have to tell you what it is then. Do you the see? Time. Yes. Do you see those black markings mm -hmm. there? Those are actually the sugars from the orange juice and the brown sugar that have caramelized on the lamb. And Sounds it's going to give us a fabulous, fabulous flavor. So how long does it marinate for before we put it in there? Oh, 24 to 36 okay. hours. And then in here, how long does it? Oh, a filet that thin for an inch of thickness to medium rare, about two and a half minutes on each side. Okay, and that's the cooling? This is the raita. Raita. And I'm just going to spoon this to one side there. Part of what we were talking about before was the idea of plate presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is, this is the type of meal that you can grill a whole lamb leg and bring it in and have everything on the table for everyone to help themselves. You can also make something so simple, so elegant. Uh, if I was lucky enough to be entertaining friends at home, uh, I work too much. Hot date, uh, maybe? Possibly a hot okay, date. Uh -huh. uh, I would want to do something like this and set up my vegetables just off center, puddle my raita on one side. Puddle it. Okay, and now let me ask you this. There's a lot of good color in there. Reds, orange. Is there anything to the color? Does it make it more appealing? Does it make you hungrier? You know, we were talking about that during one of the breaks. Um, you eat with your eyes, absolutely. My culinary pet peeve. You how? Oh, yes. My culin you eat with your eyes first. Right away, I your, chew with your my teeth, senses though, are okay. telling you that this is absolutely fabulous, right? <laughs> oh, um, yes. But what you don't want to do is art for art's sake or color for color's sake. If it doesn't belong with the dish, you don't want to use it. All right. That and looks so doing, good and so tender. Oh, it's phenomenal. Yum, yum. Where's Stefan? Stefan He's loves to eat. He's going to come in and taste this. Yeah. Come here, Steph. Stefan. <laughs> and then oh, all I do boy. Where are you guys? Yeah, Steph, you got what? it. You're here. You're Anna? here. You Stephen, Stephan, does he you have his sleepies? I <laughs> eat with my <laughs> With your nose. Oh, okay. I was going to do the blind taste test. Oh, you were? <laughs> yes, this oh, is the blind taste okay. test. <laughs> I'm not feeding you, not for a million dollars. No. Do First, I want to try... Andrews, and then I want to try Randy's. Look Isn't how beautiful, beautiful that is. That is really beautiful. We should actually tell you where you can get this recipe. If you would like the recipe, send us a self-addressed stamped envelope. Just make it addressed to Chef Andrews Lamb and Raita Recipe at 11358 Viking Drive in Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55344. And it smells really, really good. Mm. And Stefan's going to give us the, <laughs> the taste You test. don't have to be able to say it to eat it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Got it? What do you mm. think? Good. Mm. Do you taste Very the orange flavorful. and those sure sweet do. spices? Isn't that yummy? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I love that sauce, Andrew. Isn't that good? Thank you, Andrew. You're welcome. I'm going to take Wonderful. a taste <laughs> while you take a look at your weather. <laughs> Thank hey, you. Now. We'll be right back. Here's your weather. Good stuff. You can't roll